morning. This is Jeanette Bogart, and as you can see, I am home. I did something so exciting. I was in Israel. I was at the Hadassah College. I taught a class uh, of 20 students, all Israelis, half Arab and half Jewish, and they got along just fine. Anyhow, you are about to see this class. It was edited by a very, very talented editing uh, group in Israel. Uh, I do want to thank Professor Nava Benzvi for allowing me to teach in her college. I had a great time. Uh, each recipe makes 18 muffins. So now, hold on to your seatbelts. Here we go. Are we on? Good afternoon. This is Jeanette Bogart, and I am here from New York. I am in Jerusalem. I am at the Hadassah Culinary uh, School of the Hadassah College. Did I say it right? And I, and I have these two wonderful men that are going to help me, and I'm going to teach you some things. I see people have their pencils and papers, and I'm very, very glad about that. Please take off your cell phones. We are not the president of the world, and nobody has to reach us for the next five minutes, I don't think. Because we are in the kitchen, and the kitchen should be fine. We're going to start with grains today. Uh, most of the muffins we buy today in our shops, most of them are made with white flour. What we're going to do today in our muffins is use oats. This is oat bran, 16 ounces. I'm going to add one more oat bran. This is good stuff. And I'm going to add something called wheat germ. A whole wheat flour, which is a nice flour. That basically is this mixture. Now I have made enough of this for many, many breads and muffins. And I will keep it in my refrigerator, sealed, where nobody can go in there but me. And this will last for months, and I always have a good mixture. All right, now we're ready to bake. and a half of grains and these are the grains we just made them yes there it is also an extra half a cup of whole wheat 
Notice I'm not measuring exactly. It's just about right. And that's all you have to do. I'm going to put in uh, baking powder. All right. Three teaspoons of baking powder. And here we are, baking soda. And this is the end of the dry ingredients. I'm just mixing it up so you can see it. There we go. Crack your eggs first, all right? Make sure it's pure, and then you can use it. All right? This is vegetable oil. This is good for you. A little more. Pull it all the way up. That's the whole half of it. Keep going. I'm going to use a cup of sugar. So may I have the sugar? Which one you want the brown or the white one? We're going to use white sugar. It has orange juice in it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put these two together and put in all those good things that you chopped up. That's all I know. One of these. I did put in the, your dates. They're gorgeous. These beautiful dates that you have here in Israel. I did put in apricots. Apricots are full of iron, by the way. They're good for your blood. I did put in nuts full of calcium and vitamin E. So you're getting a lot of good things. Okay, now I'm going to put in just cranberries, and that's it. We're ready to bake. That wasn't too difficult, was it? No. that was such a hit in the States. It called this how to take away your stress muffin. People who are under a lot of stress need the B vitamins. Yeast is full of B vitamins. Watch this muffin, it's a very fast muffin to make and I think you will enjoy it. Stir this up like this. We're also going to make you feel better because we're putting in chocolate, half a bag. And we're putting in coconut. And we're putting in nuts and the good grains. So this should make you feel a lot better. muffin but it's giving us nutrition it's giving us good health have your muffins instead of medicine believe me